When other things come up and start happening on the exchange, I'll come back and share it. I don't know how I'm going to bite this. I'm looking at it. This thing is too big for my hand. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel and welcome to another crypto vlog. I'm Lily and today I'm going to show you what things you can trade on a crypto trading exchange. I often get asked the question, um, you know, what do I trade when I'm trading on the crypto exchange? I often get asked, do I trade Bitcoin or what do I trade? So in this video, I'm going to show you the different things you can trade on the crypto trading exchange using the Binance exchange the spot trading option. When you get into Binance, you'll see a whole list of pairs on the left hand side of your screen. You've got the BNB pairs. So if you want to trade BNB, you can trade BNB pairs on the Binance exchange. So what does it mean by pairs? So for example, if you're trading BNB pairs, when you're trading BNB or BTC BNB or Ethereum BNB, when you're buying and selling BTC BNB or your Ethereum BNB, when you're buying and selling a trade with them, you're actually building up your BNB balance. And that's what pairs are when it's under a BNB pair. If you're trading BTC pairs and you decide that you want to trade XTZ BTC, you buy and you sell and you make 5% in that particular trade, then it means that you've made 5% or profited 5% on your BTC or Bitcoin balance. And it's the same thing if you're going to go in and trade the Euro Fiat pairs. So let's just say you traded um, Fiat and it was Euro pairs that you traded and you ended up trading Ethereum and the Euro pair when you're buying and selling that Ethereum trade and you make a 10% profit in that particular trade, then your Euro balance has increased by 10% and that's what the different pairs mean. Also know when you're trading on other exchanges just see what other pairs they have like if you're trading on Poloniex see if they've got more than just the BTC and the USDT pairs see what other what other pairs your exchange has and just navigate and have a look around to see what coins there are for you to trade in those pairs. Also note these pairs have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, so if you're trading the BTC pairs, just note your balance on BTC will go up and down when the price of Bitcoin changes. If you're trading in a fiat pair, um, just note your balance will go up and down when the exchange rate or when the rate of that particular fiat goes up or down so let's just say you're trading the Australian dollar today the Australian dollar is worth one dollar tomorrow it's worth one dollar then the balance that you've got in there will remain the same so now you've established that on the Binance exchange you've got BNB pairs you've got BTC pairs so now we're going to go have a look at the BTC pairs and you'll see there is a mountain load of BTC pairs to choose from so what that means is when you're trading BTC pairs, you're building up your BTC balance. And now you've got an option of the fiat pairs, which is the same sort of thing as well. Um, so yeah, these are the different things that you can trade on a crypto exchange. So that's the video for today. So just remember the things that you can trade on a crypto trading exchange are the different pairs. So just make sure if you're not trading on the Binance exchange, um, just look in the look and see what different pairs the exchange, what different pairs you have available on the exchange that you're trading on, and go from there. That is the end of this video. I hope the information that I shared helped. If you like this content, please give it a like. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. We would much appreciate it. And click on the bell notification icon so you can receive notification of all our upcoming videos. And until the next video, take care and stay blessed. Bye everybody.